Hi everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at another app that you can use to learn German. This is an Android app, I believe it's also a app for iOS devices, so if you have either of those you can download this. It is from the Goethe Institute, which is of course the uh, online and physical location where you can learn German. First things first, obviously you're going to have to make an account, so you have to sign in. You can do that either via Facebook or you can just make an account with an email address. Either way, you have to sign in in some way, shape, or form. Once you get into the game it actually takes you through a little tutorial where it tells you how to actually play the little game. Uh, basically you wander around town and you click on anything that uh, has dotted lines around it and once you tap on that it'll give you a sentence using that particular word or that particular phrase. Generally it's just one word at a time. And then you have to type in the answer to the uh, little sentence that they have based on the options that they are given. It's incredibly boring to do this, and so they also have a few other things built into it. Once you have completed an entire section of the vocabulary, they will then give you the option to take a quick little test. This is to check to see if you actually remember any of the things that you just learned. Me personally, I only knew the answers because I already knew the answers. So it's not necessarily that I actually learned them from the app. If you were to learn these from the app, it would take you a few times through. If you just tap on another object over and over again, it'll give you the same sentence again. Also, you can always go to the main center, and there you can find your vocabulary as well, and you can tap the sentences and the words all by themselves again. The app does seem to be pretty thorough. It continues to give you a bunch of different vocabulary, and it can teach you things over a long period of time. But the problem I see is that there is no association with your native language. It just seems to give you a translation whenever they're giving you instructions, and then every other thing is just in German. There is no translation whatsoever to English. So, it, for instance, if I had a word like Sehenswürdigkeit, which to me is not a word that I would have used to describe something, they don't give you an English translation at all. It just says Sehenswürdigkeit every time and then gives you a different Sehenswürdigkeit to see there. Me personally, I would have preferred if they had like a tourist site or something like that underneath it so that I knew this is the actual English word that I would use as opposed to just some randomness. There are a few games built in as well. There are two types of games. There is one game where you cooperatively try and get as many points as you possibly can. And then the second game is the one where you have to go against each other. I played both of these just to test them out. Uh, the first one I was a little confused on how it worked, which is why I ended up messing it up. That's the one where you have to compete against each other. And so you're supposed to tap the words based on the picture for each one before it gets crushed by the little machine. The one where you're working cooperatively, all you have to do is is just hit the right word and just keep on going through all of the words and hopefully if you get them all correct and the right amount of time then it will uh, give you the points and stuff. It's a cute little game, it's okay, but it's again kind of boring. So the bottom line is this, I would suggest this kind of app if you are a student that actually has a little bit of a background in German already so that these sentences can actually make sense to you and also you can build vocabulary this way. If you've been through maybe a semester or a year worth of German courses, you may be able to actually use this app and get a lot out of it. That being said, if you are a very, very beginner level person, I'm not going to suggest this app for you because I think it's going to be a little bit over your head and a little bit too complicated for you at first. If you're into the Rosetta Stone style of learning where you don't get any translation and it's just an image after image after image giving you a different word, then this might be your kind of thing. But in my experience as a German teacher, I just don't see how this is all that helpful for anybody who is a very basic level learner. That being said, if you are in the upper levels or if you've already had a few courses, it may actually be a great asset to you because you can start building vocabulary based on this and you can also find some friends based on the uh, games that you can play and maybe find somebody that you can help online to uh, chat with you in German and learn a little bit that way as well. All in all, it's a decent app, it's just not my cup of tea. So honestly, I would probably give this maybe like a 6 or a 7. It's an okay app, it does what it's supposed to do, but it's just kinda boring. Anyway, if you like this app, if you don't like this app, go ahead and leave some comments down below. Also, let me know what I should be reviewing for the next app, because I have no idea what I'm supposed to be reviewing here in three weeks when I do this again. That's alles für heute, danke fürs Zuschauen, bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!